Welcome, welcome, my name is Balaj and you're watching a tech video where I'm introducing to you the latest Asus notebooks with again an innovation that nobody else has done before two displays on one notebook and this time it's not a secondary display in the touchpad like we have seen on the um, Devo books and the Zen books from last year and also these year's new um, Zen books but we have this time the Zen book Duo and the Zen book Pro Duo. You can see it here, the Duo means two displays. I have for example a piano right now open on the bottom but can do crazy things here on the top and the bottom. So this is the Pro model with a 15.6 inch display on the top and a 14 inch display on the bottom. On the top it's an OLED, OLED um, 4K display so that has a 100% DCI P3 color um, rating which is amazing for me as a video producer um, but also for other people that for example edit pictures and other creatives or even just gamers it's probably also um, uh, quite amazing. Because we also have built in an NVIDIA RTX 2060 up to um, an i9 Intel processor is available also on this machine starting Q3. But let's check out the ports and then let's go a little bit more into um, what you can do with the two displays. So we have on the side you can see here a USB Type-C port, regular USB port and a headset a jack on this uh, beautiful machine and uh, vent so it gets a little bit of air. On the front there is a little line that uh, lights up blue when you call Hey Alexa and then you can um, answer some questions here on the notebook you can see that works works quite well and then we have a USB port another one uh, HDMI and a power port on this side so not too many connectors no network ports no SD card slot or anything like that sadly but from the outside we have a beautiful uh, CNC frame um, CNC um, body for the display and the display has actually an amazing uh, 90 plus percent screen to body ratio which is also quite amazing. Let's open up a PowerPoint here and then you can see we can work on the top, do Spotify on the bottom for example, do maybe if our gamer uh, on top the game and then on the bottom a little bit of streaming so we can see what our camera does and it's actually even a quite good keyboard that we have on the bottom if you um, put the extra uh, bottom part to it where you can um, rest your hands your palms then it's um, more, even more comfortable and then we have on the side a trackpad that works quite well with a built-in uh, numpad if you need that and you can also set the brightness there without the flickering for your eyes but the camera could only catch it this way so it's a quite amazing device if you ask me it looks really really good and we hear the brand new Zenbook um, Pro Duo uh, but let's check out if you have a little bit less budget and you want a smaller device which is a little bit lighter the regular Zenbook Duo which has also the same idea with the secondary screen here on the bottom for browsing huge web pages that makes also a lot of sense. Um, we don't have a touch screen on the top, full HD resolution here and then a little bit less than full HD on the bottom of obviously because of the height 14 inch and 12.6 inch here for the bottom. The same keyboard it seems but we have on the right side one button less and also a smaller trackpad with regular uh, mouse buttons um, externally of the trackpad which is also again quite nice and ports wise we also have the power HDMI USB and the type C on uh, this side but um, we have uh, just 3.1 uh, USB type C here not Thunderbolt 3. So a little bit slower USB standard. Then on the next side we have um, a micro SD card slot which is great again for me as a content producer, um, headset jack and a regular USB 3 port. Also no Alexa built in on the front but still again here possible to change RAM, SSDs, everything that you buy here on the bottom with just a few screws and from the outside again the beautiful CNC um, built here for the Asus Zenbook Duo. So again, as I mentioned, no touchscreen, no 4K, just Full HD, but still we have an NVIDIA MX250 in here, so you can also do a little bit of gaming and up to an Intel Core i7 processor, and both have actually um, the Wi-Fi 6S standard built in, which is quite nice, um, and the Harman Kardon sound, so even if you don't use a headset, you will have great sound. So this was a little bit short overview over both new Asus Zenbook Duos, the Zenbook Pro and the Zenbook Duo available Q3 with no price yet announced but um, I'm excited to see uh, more products like this here at the Computex so check out more videos here on Tech Video about interesting things um, and interesting notebooks especially um, here from Taiwan. My name is Balash, thank you much for watching and this was as I mentioned again the Zenbook Pro and the Zenbook Pro Duo here um, on Tech video.